we're standing on a corner grocery store, an Italian grocery store that was prevalent in the city of Donaldsonville at the turn of the century. There were over 48 corner Italian grocery stores, almost one on every block that they had Italian grocery stores. And this is one of the surviving few. There's a little bit of everything, but the specialty over here at Molina's is home boiled ham sliced with the same knife that the founder used, Mike Molina, for more than 70 or 80 years of use. Well, my grandparents are from Italy. When he migrated here, uh, like he was 12 years old, and he came in and he got some land on Highway 1, and they started uh, forming that land and uh, being like, what, 10 kids, I think they had, 10, 11 kids, and they formed it, and they, they made their way, and, uh, and uh, that's about, you know, that's how they did it. That's, they formed that land, and they made it. They raised and uh, ate what they raised, and uh, they made a living like that, and truck farming too. You know, when my uh, my parents they were they lived in Baton Rouge a while, but they but they moved over here, and they bought that store as a grocery store across the street. They bought it in 1944 when they went to There was a going grocery store there. They bought it from Joe Fontana, and they turned it and they took over from there in 1944. And they stayed over there about 11 years, and then they moved on this side of the street in 1955. And we've been here since then. Family, it's a tradition, a matter of fact, it goes back to when the Fontanas had it. They bought hams, and probably we have the same pot I think he used. It's got 1941 written on that ham pot. So we've been using that ham pot since then, and it's still working, and it's still in good shape. And uh, we, we bought... I see, I bought almost like two a day, two or three a day. We sell about eight, nine hams a week or so, maybe, maybe more than that sometimes. And uh, it, it goes pretty fast. And I think a lot of people like it because it's not salty. It doesn't have a salty flavor. It's just got a good, unique flavor to it. And, and uh, a lot of people buy it. They tell you that it's just different, you know. <laughs> and uh, they come in the store, and the customer came in today, he asked for ham. I didn't have it, he didn't want anything else. <laughs> he wanted just a ham. <laughs> and uh, there's no substitute. They just don't want anything else for it. You know, if they don't have the ham, they don't want any other kind. Okay, this pot been in the family since 1944. And uh, we got this pot, I think Joe Fontana, when he had the store, he was bought in this, with this same pot. And we just continued and brought it on this side of the street in 1955. So we've been bought in the ham. Well, this, this is going to be in my 78th year in business, the store, the grocery store. Yeah, almost 80 years we've been in business. I, I watched him do it and, and then watch him slice it, and I eventually tried it, my hand at it, and first time he told me, he told me I was like I was building a garage, he told me. <laughs> I was cutting the ham, kind of wasn't too uh, uniform like him. But I just learned over the years. I mean, I've been doing it since, the, well, let's see, over over 30 something years now, maybe 40, close to 40. You know, uh, yeah, just just learn by doing, you know. See, it comes in already smoked, and we just put it in the pot and we bought it. And I bought it for about uh, two and a half hours or so. And, uh, and it just we take it out and let it, let it uh, cool. And I put it in the refrigerator and we let it cool off and we cut it the next day and it just has a good uh, unique flavor all right I sliced the ham with this knife by hand and you have to slice it thin because anybody could cut ham but you got to cut it thin and not too many people can cut it thin you know it you got to make it almost look like it's sliced on a slicing machine <laughs> and so that's what the people like what I do when I sharpen it mm -hmm. We used to make poor boys over here back in the day when the kids were allowed to leave school for lunch and my parents would have them ready, stacked up about yay high over here. That's when they were about 40 cents a piece for a poor boy with ham and lettuce and everything on it. 40 cents and yeah, and the Coke was a nickel. So uh, <laughs> that's back in the day, huh, Andrew?